everyone! New surprise episode today which means it's time for me to guess kung sino na naman ang ating susunod na guest. At sa episode na ito, eh, may parang bagong style tayo ngayon. Sinulatan ako ng isang tula ng ating team of producers at sana mahulaan ko sa tula na ito para hindi naman masayang yung effort. Okay? So, basahin natin yung poem for today. Sa Little Miss Philippines, siya ay nakasali. Naging artista pa sa pelikula at TV. Ngayon ay sa noon time hosting siya nakasali kasama ang asawa niyang sa pagpapatawa ay legendary. Ay, parang alam ko to. Little Miss Philippines pa lang, big clue na yan. Siya ay walang iba kundi si... Tama ba ako? Pauline Luna Soto. Andali Yay! naman nun. <laughs> Tumama ako. <laughs> Yay! Hi, Miss Pia. Andali naman. Clue? Actually, yung Little Miss Philippines, eh marami namang nag Little Miss Philippines, pero nung sinabi, kasamang asawa niyang sa pagpapatawa ay legendary. <laughs> oh, may yun, ano, mas yun ano na yun. Mas Actually, clear na. last clue pa dapat yan. Magkaklase sa spin class. <laughs> yes! Sabihin ko sana, tapos ka na mag-spin ngayon, di ba? Nakita ko yung post tapos mo. Tapos na. Yeah. Kanina Talo mo ako. <laughs> Talo mo ako. Kamusta ka na, Pauline? I'm good. I'm a housewife. Sa bahay lang ako. I do very minimal work for Eat Bulaga. I, I do behind the camera work for my husband and the show. Basically, yun. Very much content. Very much enjoying being just here at home. Nabanggit mo na you've been doing behind the camera work for your Husband. Ano yung behind the camera work na ginagawa mo? Makeup or everything. I set up the the computer kasi in naka work from home pa rin kami ngayon. Uh-uh. And then we do this segment called One for All sa studio. So dahil wala namang ibang staff na pumupunta dito. I set everything up for him, the lights, the audio, the script. Galing ha. Everything. And then he needs me because during the segment, maraming instructions from the studio. So I write everything down. Oh. Tapos the idiot board. Oh. <laughs> everything, everything talaga. Ang galing. I do that for him. Kasi he can do it on his own eh. Pati makeup. Hindi nagme-makeup 'yun kasi maganda balat niya. Unfair. Blessed talaga. No? <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> ay, totoo. True. I can see na parang ikaw ay isang very hands-on mom and very very mm-hmm. hands-on wife. Um, tama bang hands-on wife? Parang mali. Iba yung dating. <laughs> okay. Hands-on homemaker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Iba yung dating. But anyway, alam, gets mo na yung ibig kong sabihin. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ay, meron ka pa rin bang me time? I mean, oh, yeah. what do you like to do pag me time mo? I work out like you. <laughs> ah, yay! Actually, lamang na lamang ka. Minsan, pag nakikita ko, nako, nag-work out si Pauline today, mapipilitan ako mag-work out. Kasi si ko, parang shocks, buti pa siya. Tapos parang sabi ko, sige, kaya ko rin yan. Ang sexy-sexy mo nga, Miss Pia, nakakalok. Eh, nako, <laughs> hindi. It's an illusion. <laughs> no, <kala. laughs> so ako, ayun, I work out. Yun lang naman. And uh, I do not demand much. Hindi naman ako demanding because I really love uh, being around my family. Oo. Do you sometimes time it, Rihanna, kung wari, habang nasa online class si Tali or nasa golf si Bossing, that's when you do your workout? As much as I can, yes. As much okay. as I can. Pag lang, pag nandun yung mga favorite instructors ko. <laughs> Wait lang, guys. <laughs> Oo, 45 minutes lang naman, di ba? 45 minutes lang. And, and, and Vic respects that naman. So, ang workout of choice mo is really spinning? And Pilates. Paano ka nag-start with both? Was it during pandemic lang or dati pa? With Pilates, I didn't want anything that will make me haggard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ayaw natin na haggard? Ayaw ko yung hulas. No, but really, may Pilates beside Tali school. So I would drop her off. I will do a session while she's in school. And then pagtapos niya, tapos na rin ako. Doon lang nag-start. And then I started to like it. And then yung spinning naman, I, it was... I didn't like it in the very beginning. Kasi, ayun nga, haggard, haggard siya. Oh. But then, I tried it again during the pandemic. I was super heavy that time. Super heavy. Maybe my heaviest. And then, I liked it. And then, I started to see progress with my weight. So, sabi ko, okay to ah. Tapos, nag enjoy ako sa kanya. Tapos, 45 minutes lang. And then, tinuloy-tuloy ko na. I really enjoy it eh. Though, I have not tried it in the studio. After I liked it. 
Kasi my very first was in the studio. Pero pre-pandemic yun. So during pandemic, that's when your love for spinning began. Yes, ganalo. yes, yes. But it's really fun kasi alam mo, pag nahook ka, di ba, mahirap talaga to not do it. Tapos sa bahay lang. Oh, tapos sa bahay ka. Pero you can still feel the same energy. You feel yeah, everybody's yeah. I good like vibes. Yeah, I <laughs> Mm-hmm. Kitang-kita sa mga post mo na you really are enjoying life right now, di ba? Especially when I see yung posts mo kay Tali. Ang cute-cute niya. Tapos yung parang mga bonding moments nyo. Di ba kararating nyo lang from out of the country? Singapore. Yes. Yes, we came from Singapore. Sobrang long overdue trip na for Tali. Ako naman talaga naniniwala ako na you know, being to different countries really opens your eyes and your mind, you know, especially for little children. So it was a very good experience for all of us, especially for Tali. Iba yung happiness na nakita namin sa kanya. Siguro because we've been stuck in, at home for two years. So the fact na nakasakay siya ng airplane, naka-experience siya ng mga bagong, you know, experiences. Sobrang saya niya. And, you know, Siyempre tayong mga magulang, there's nothing better than seeing your child happy. Especially yung ganyang kaliit kasi ano pa yan, eh, very innocent. Talagang may kita mo pure talaga kung ano man yung mga emotion na lumalabas sa kanila. So it was a very fun and good trip for all of us. Ilang taon na ba si Tali ngayon? She's four. Half her life in quarantine. <laughs> Diba? <laughs> yes, that's right. I think ang gandang edad nito eh, kasi she's still somewhat innocent. But also at the same time, she's aware na of her surroundings. Maganda na yung memory ng bata, naaalala na niya. Nakakaalala na siya ng mga ganap. So I think this is a very good age for you to teach them a lot of things, bring them to other places. So, sobrang sabi namin, we, we're so grateful for the opportunity. Wow. Ang cute-cute actually ni Tali. Yung mga kumakanta siya, ganyan. Di ba? Nagpa- I mean, di ba siya yung kumanta nung Christmas song ng Eat Bulaga? Kasama siya dun sa oh. yeah, Christmas song. I think, ano talaga eh, it's in her, it's in her blood. Siguro, artista yung magulang niya. <laughs> <laughs> Tingin mo. <laughs> Tingin mo nasa dugo. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Kanino ko nga nagmana? <laughs> ano siya talaga, she's very much into acting. Like even with yung playtime niya, role-playing palagi. Wow. Ano talaga, parang dun siya talaga papunta. She loves to sing. She's actually good at singing. Nana sa nanay. <laughs> sa nanay talaga. Hindi <laughs> ba nga si bossing niyan? <laughs> hindi, hindi sa kanya nana. But trivia, uh, sobrang hilig namin sa music kaming family. Siyempre si Vic, dun siya sa more technical side. He's a composer, he writes songs, melody, and the words. Ako naman, tawag sa akin ng mga taga-eat-bulaga. Kung may Asia Songbird, ang tawag nila sa akin, Asia Songbook. <laughs> Kasi sobrang memories ko lahat. <laughs> Kaya yung knowledge ko pagdating sa music, medyo wide. Because my parents are very much into music as well. My mom used to be a part of a band. Mahilig talaga kami sa music. Very evident yun kay Tali. As a matter of fact, mas nauna siyang kumanta kaysa nagsalita. Ah, talaga? So, as in, kaya niyang kumanta ng lyrics, pero hindi pa siya masyadong nagsasalita noon? Nagko-converse, yeah. Hindi pa siya, hindi pa siya masyadong nagsasalita. Mas nauna siyang kumanta talaga. Mas nauna niyang sinabi yung mga songs na naririnig niya than, you know, to say mom or dad or, you know, to to try to speak to us. Wow! Ano yung mga songs na yun? Mga from her favorite shows, ganyan? It's actually Wheels on the Bus. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Classic. Oo, kasi paulit-ulit. Yun, sabi namin, music is very strong in her blood. Meron kayong mga jamming sessions, kayong tatlo? Not really, but we always find ourselves singing and listening and bonding over music, even if hindi namin sinasadya. So parang naging ano na siya? Parang... Past time somehow. Yeah, and parang parte na rin siya talaga sa amin kasi we really like music. At saka iba-iba, nakakatawa kasi yung yayan ni Tali, sobrang hilig din sa music. <laughs> Surrounded pala si Tali. It's funny because one time, we were on our way to church and then may tumugtog na air supply song sa radio. Kinanta niya. Alam ni Tali yung air supply? Sabi namin, anak, we don't. We don't listen to air supply. Alam niya, it's the yaya. <laughs> it's the yaya. So, iba pa yung nabibigay naming genre. Iba pa yung nabibigay ni yaya na genre. <laughs> 
sobrang music centered talaga. Nako, baka talunin ka na ni Tali sa pagiging Asia Songbook. Nako, baka mawala ako sa trono ko. Oo. So, si Yaya <laughs> likes Air Supply, Michael Learns to Rock, mga ganyan. Wow, so, wow. marunong na rin si Tali noon. Nakakatuwa kasi na sa surprise kami. Na bigla na lang alam niya pala yung songs na yon. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mabilis talaga yung pick up niya sa music. Alam mo dun sa mga posts mo, nakikita ko minsan, yung parang tuwang tuwa si bossing kay Tali. Yung natatawa talaga siya kay Tali. May pagkakomedyante ba si Tali? Super komedyante. It's so funny. Kasi manang mana siya talaga. Sobra siyang komedyante. Na hindi niya alam na nagpapatawa no, siya. No, no, no. Hindi niya alam. Well, minsan sinasadya na niya kasi parang nagigets niya na, na nakakatawa siya. <laughs> Recently, medyo nararamdaman na niya. But nakakatawa siya. She's really a character. Parang siyang daddy niya eh. Yung pasundot-sundot lang. Pero nakakatawa. Style bossing pala. Yung parang isang hirit lang. Pero yung... Yes, pero oh, nakakatawa. Oh. Tapos may timing. May timing. Ang galing. Would you say na si Tali is daddy's girl? Oh, definitely. Definitely. She goes to mom when she needs something. But when she wants something, it's her dad. <laughs> Alam na niya. So si boss yung hindi nakakahindi kay Tali? Ah, hindi talaga. Hindi talaga. Kryptonite niya si Tali. Oh, no! Kahit anong gusto nung bata. No, because Tali also is such a gentle kid. Funny nga eh, kasi when I was pregnant, Vic wanted the boy. And then, so syempre, girl. Nung una, parang sabi niya, parang, ang tagal na eh. His last child before Tali, 30 years old na. So sabi niya, hindi niya daw alam kung paano daw siya magkoconnect. Kung girl. I mean, syempre, kung boy, mas marami siyang maituturo and all. But then, Tali came. And then, parang she opened a whole new world for us. She's so gentle. She's so kind and loving and sweet. She's so generous with her words, with expressing her love for us. Tsaka ano siya talaga? I don't know if if it's the pandemic's doing, but she's so makamagulang talaga. Wow. A very close. Sobrang, super close. Like, she would choose us over other kids anytime. Oh, how sweet naman. Yeah. Bawal kami umihi sa gabi. UTI feels. UTI levels. <laughs> Ganon. <laughs> Bakit? Iiyak siya pag tumayo kayo? Kasi I miss you. I miss you, mom. I miss you, dad. I need you. Ganon. Wow, I need you. Nakaka-guilty naman yun pag sinabihan kang I need you. In- Tapos in- gusto mo lumabas ng kwarto. <laughs> 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 so, ibig sabihin hanggang ngayon, sa inyo siya natutulog? Well, lately, tinatry namin siya ang i-alternate with the Yaya. MWF Sunday sa Amin siya. Tapos, TTHS sa yaya siya. Pero you know, somehow masanay. She's clingy, but she's not, what's the right term? Hindi siya yung hindi independent. She can do things on her own. She just prefer na magkakasama kami lahat all the time. Siguro major si Punks yan pag kung wari, kailangan na niya mag face-to-face classes or kailangan yeah, niya mag yeah. daily studio, ganyan. Kaya hindi siya mahindihan ng daddy. <laughs> Kasi ano talaga eh, her personality is really nice. Hindi namin na-experience sa kanya yung nagtantrum sa naglupasay. You can really talk to her. You can explain it to her and she would understand. Kaya hindi kami nahirapan. So siguro si daddy mas lumalambot. <laughs> Kasi nga, ano talaga, she's very, she's very easy. Sabi mo gusto ni bossing before boy. So does that mean gusto niya pang mag-try for another baby? Oh, we've been trying, but I have a lot of issues. I have PCOS, I have insulin resistance, I have a lot of hormonal problems. So, hindi pa na ibibigay. <laughs> Sa tamang panahon. <laughs> but kung ibibigay, of course, we want Tali to, you know, grow up with. Kasi her siblings are all grown Much ups older. na. Mm-mm. So, of course, we want her to have another sibling. But if ito na yun, then... Okay lang din naman. But ako, ako personally gusto ko talaga magkaroon pa. Kahit isa na lang. I remember kasi sabi ni Bossing sa isang interview a few months ago. Sabi niya, paano daw kayo magkakababy ulit? Eh, lagi niyong katabi si Tali. O at least ngayon, alternate na. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi na siya lagi sa kwarto niyo. <laughs> Wala, ano talaga, katabi talaga namin. Ano tawag ni Tali kay Bossing? Daddy? Papa? Daddy. daddy. Ah, daddy. Sometimes yeah. Marvick. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi pag pinapagalitan niya, ganon. <laughs> Sometimes bra. What's up, bra? Talaga? Minsan Marvick? Oo. When we call her Talisa, she calls us by our first name. Or our, our full names. Wow. So ikaw, minsan tatawagin rin yung Pauline. Marie Pauline. Wow. Hindi lang Pauline. Marie Pauline. <laughs> Parang matanda. I guess because she's been around, you know, adults almost all her life. 
wala siya masyadong um, interaction with other kids. So, kaya nga rin siya siguro madaling kausap kasi we don't baby her. I mean, we talk to her straight. When we discipline her, we always tell her na, do you understand? We always make sure na she understands what we tell her and you know why this and that happened. Parang matanda. Parang matanda talaga. Nakakausap mo siya talaga. Yung pagkakadescribe mo nung life ninyo, parang very happy still na because you're just all together sa isang bahay and you're enjoying spending time together. Ito ba yung parang na-imagine mo na nung mag-boyfriend pa lang kayo ni Bossing, parang na-imagine mo na na this is the life that I want you, you know, just enjoy spending time with each other. Well, kasi si Vic, ito talaga yung personality niya. He likes staying home as much as he can. He tries to avoid, you know, crowded places. <laughs> private. He's very private. Ako naman, I, I like people. I like interacting with other people. I love, you know, being with my friends. But I also do enjoy staying at home. Parang tapos na rin naman yung time na you know, gimmick-gimmick and all. So, when we got married, na-enjoy ko talaga na kami lang to stay home. Simple lang naman kami. We like having dinners lang. We like watching movies. And then, we just really love to be around each other and stay home. And then, Tali came. But then, we were still doing it bulaga nung time na yun. Hindi naman namin nabibigay yung 24 hours namin talaga kay Tali. Because that time, we still lived in Laguna. So, medyo malayo uh, papunta, malayo pabalik. So, medyo half the day. Hindi rin namin siya nakakasama. But this pandemic talaga, kahit wala kaming activity, kahit wala kaming, you know, big events, we were very much content with each other's company. It was a perfect time to see how Tali would blossom into this beautiful little girl. Ang perfect timing eh, kasi nakita namin yung mga milestones. Tapos natutukan talaga namin siya. Kumbaga, nung, nung nag-eat bulaga kami, tutok pa rin naman kami. But ito, it's a whole different level of pagkatoto. Kasi we were really together 24-7. Actually, when the pandemic started, it was a pleasant surprise for us because especially for Vic because he's been working every day for 40 years. Oo nga, no? Every day for 40 years. Every day. So, nung nagsimula yung lockdown, nung una naman parang two weeks lang, eh. Diba? Two weeks lang. Extend another two alam. weeks. Sobrang <laughs> enjoy siya talaga. Parang ito pala yung pakiramdam ng na-enjoy ko yung bahay, na-enjoy ko yung family. Because when his kids were growing naman before, he was also very busy. He was doing Eat Bulaga, he was doing a show, uh, movies here and there. So, hindi niya talaga rin na-experience ito. Yung talagang to take a step back and to just really enjoy. And you know, to get to know himself more. Like, ano kaya? Paano kung wala? Kung wala lahat ng busyness, di ba? So, when it happened, para kami nakabakasyon. Every day, <laughs> swimming, ang itim, itim namin lahat. Kasi, swimming every day, then we would eat al fresco sa labas kami. Feeling namin kami nakabakasyon. Parang extended honeymoon. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we even had a list of, you know, the things we want to teach Tali. Like, the first one on the list was to potty train. And then, okay, check. And then the next one was to teach her how to swim and then check and then so on and so forth. At na ubusan na kami na, na ituturo kay Tali. Ano na, nasa pandemic pa rin tayo. <laughs> but, you know, to be honest, we're really grateful for that time because nakapag-bonding talaga kami. Ang perfect nung timing ng two years old si Tali na nakatutok talaga kami sa kanya. Uh, nakita talaga namin kung paano siya lumaki. You know, nag-guide namin talaga siya kung paano namin siya gustong palakihin. You're enjoying being a housewife now. Of course, you're a housewife, but your family is in the public eye. What's it like being married to Bossing? I mean, hindi mo nakakailangan i-describe pa si Bossing kasi alam lang lahat kung sino si Bossing, di ba? What's it like being married to Bossing and then, you know, marrying into a showbiz and political family, a huge show business and political family. Was it what you expected or may mga parang nagulat ka pa ba sa ibang bagay? It's very normal. <laughs> Super normal. I'm blessed to be given this family because they're all so down to earth. Hindi ko talaga maramdaman na you, you know, to be honest, sometimes when I see, like for example, when I see Vic's billboard, minsan parang, Huh? Asa ako ko ba yan? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi pa rin ako. Kasi that person in the billboard and the person I live with are two very different people. When I see him, like sa movies and all, parang ano talaga eh, parang star, you know? Legend siya eh. But in reality, he's very normal. <laughs> 
<laughs> very, very normal. There's nothing, you know, strikingly different about him. He's very humble. His family is very humble. Walang may ere. Basta walang nagsa-strike out na kakaiba. Nakakatuwa. Nakakatuwa because I can be myself when I'm around them. I can be myself when I'm with Vic. You know, my true self. Like, wala talagang no layers. Ako lang talaga. Because ako rin, I'm very normal. <laughs> very normal. <laughs> Walang bakas ng pagiging superstar or whatever. Si Vic. Kaya sabi ko, Lord, ang galing mo rin talaga mag-orchestrate ng bagay-bagay because I landed into this family na I can be my myself. Jive talaga kami. Sobrang simple lang talaga namin. Di ba sabi mo, pag minsan nakikita mo yung billboard, sabi mo, asawa ko ba yan? Eh, so I can imagine, ano yung feeling when he first started, you know, courting you, di ba? Nung naliligaw pa lang si Bossing, edi siguro mas nakaka-starstruck ng kod. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Naalala mo po ba yung feeling? Kaka-stress, actually. <laughs> Kaka-stress. <laughs> May problema ka ba sa career? Love life? Sex life? Or do you just need someone to talk to? Kahit gaano pa yan, kahit complicated. Pag-usapan natin yan sa Share Ko Lang Podcast. I'm Dr. Anna Tuazon, isang psychologist. Samahan niyo ako as we hear stories from personalities about issues that we all can relate to. May mapupulit ka pang tips para sa stronger and better version of you. Listen to Share Ko Lang Podcast, an original by GMA News and Public Affairs. Available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you listen. Hi, I'm Howie Severino. My colleagues and I developed this idea of creating a podcast as a safe space for sharing insights with leaders and interesting people across diverse backgrounds. I've been a journalist for 33 years as a newspaper reporter, news anchor, online editor, and documentary maker. But podcasting is fresh territory for me. Check out the Howie Severino Podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms. Empower yourselves and be safe. Nung naliligaw pa lang si Bossing, edi siguro mas nakaka-starstruck ng kode. Weird. <laughs> Naalala mo po ba yung feeling? Nakaka-stress. Actually. <laughs> Nakaka-stress. <laughs> Bakit <Nakaka> stress? <laughs> Because tahimik siya eh. And he comes off as suplado. Can you imagine, Miss Pia, I've been with the show for how long? 11 years na kami this year. So that is seven years. Seven years in the show, and I've not had a decent conversation with him. Oh, wow. So ano yung first conversation nyo? Wala. Wala talaga? Nothing. As in, minsan kilay-kilay lang. <laughs> kilay-kilay lang. Parang, basta, ganun lang. <laughs> He's super mysterious and so quiet. Na yun nga, like what I said, he comes off a suplado. So parang medyo takot kami sa kanya. I don't know if he wants to hear this, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yon, not naman that I try to avoid, you know, having a conversation with him, but, you know, I said to myself, parang, what are we gonna talk about? You know, I'm just gonna be with my friends. I'm gonna be with Atterby, Wally. I'm gonna be with my friends. We respect him as our, you know, um, superior, and I don't think I need to talk to him. So when he, we started to talk, it was kind of stressful. <laughs> <laughs> parang, parang, Bakit? Kasi hindi mo alam kung ano isasagot mo? Yeah, parang okay. And then, parang ganun. And then, si Ruby was, Sige na, take one for the team. Kausapin mo lang. Sabi ko, ba't ako? Sabi ko, ba't ako? <laughs> Actually, funny because he started to talk to me first sa email. Wow, email. Email pa nun. Okay. Oh, kasi I did. Of course, I didn't have his number. Hindi nga kami nag-uusap. Eh. Tapos may number pa kami nag <laughs> Okay. Tapos, we started off as friends. Labas kami, group kami. Friends talaga. And then after a while, I realized na, aba, okay pala siya. I mean, it's very simple. He wasn't the guy that I expected him to be. Na parang diva. Sometimes diva. Huwag <laughs> <But, laughs> <laughs> na natin isend sa kanya yung link nito. <laughs> <laughs> Naiiba-block ko na lang. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> no, but you know, yung medyo parang intimidating. Actually, that's the right term. Okay pala siya. He's very, he's very easy. Ang daling sakyan. Curious ako, anong in-email niya? Ba't siya nag-email? Tungkol saan? Secret. <laughs> ah, secret? Okay. <laughs> No, but it was very friendly. Ah, okay. The, the, he got my email because there was one trip to Singapore. Hindi pa kami masyado friends noon. Ah, ah. Mahilig ako mag-picture-picture. I had my camera with me. Hindi, hindi cellphone eh. I had my camera with me. And then may group shot. Tapos, at the very last second, parang humarang siya. Parang nag-photo bang siya sa harap. Tapos, yung mga nasa likod, group yun na group photo, na blur out. So, siya lang yung nakita. One day, he said, can you send me the photo? I said, okay, okay, I'll send it to your email. Hindi pa naman uso yung mga iMessage, iMessage nung time eh. So, I said, okay, can I get your email? So, that's where he got my email. And then, yun. And then, after a while, he emailed me and then, parang may nakita siyang billboard ko or something and then he sent it to me. Parang ganun lang. Actually, di mo pala wow. secret. <laughs> parang ganun lang. And then, parang, eventually, he gave me his number. Na parang, oh, hey, if you wanna talk, here's my number. Tapos, stress talaga ako noon. Sabi ko, ah, sir, Bibi, ba't ganito? <laughs> parang, kailangan ko ba siyang i-text? <laughs> Oo, oh, ba't kailangan ko mag-reply? And then, okay naman pala. As a matter of fact, tawag niya pa nga una sa akin, Brad, kamusta na? <laughs> friends ano the friends talaga? friendly friendly lang talaga I guess we realized that we had a lot of things in common hindi pala siya artista kung baga and then we got along very well and so paano mo na-realize na parang ay hey, wait parang may something na to hindi na lang kami are just friends you know honestly I do not remember kasi parang Ano lang talaga eh, parang sobrang smooth. Nag-progress na lang. It just really transitioned to, you know, we started to talk to each other more often. And then from going out na group kami, parang we started going out na kami dalawa na lang. Ito, super trivial question lang, pero curious ako. Kasi ako, I keep saying si Bossing. Siyempre si Bossing, si Bossing. And you call mm-hmm. him Vic. Pero anong tawagan niyo sa bahay? Babe. <laughs> Ay, oh, sweet. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Babe. E, ito, curious ako. Nung una kang nasa Eat Bulaga, siyempre, Ano bang tawag nyo kay Bossing doon? Bossing, di ba? Bossing. I still call him Bossing sa show. Eh, paano ka nag-transition from Bossing to... Anong next na tawag mo sa kanya? Vic? Yung kawari nung nag email email kayo. <laughs> Pwede ko na matandaan kung kailan. On the show, I still call him Bossing up, up to this day. Ah, okay. Pero yung ano, pag nagko-converse na kayo, off-screen... Di ko matandaan. I honestly do not, <laughs> I do not remember kung kailan yung nag... Nag-switch. <laughs> ah, okay. Basta from bossing, hindi bossing Vic babe. Diretso na, bossing, tas naging babe na. Parang, parang. Or I just don't call him by saying, hey. <laughs> <laughs> parang na ilang na. So I guess doon na nahalata ng mga katrabaho nyo na parang, ay, hindi na bossing yung tawag niya kay bossing. Hindi, hindi rin naman kami nagpapakita talaga na, tahimik lang si Vic eh. He's, he stays in one corner. So... Usap lang kami, tahimik lang. Ganun lang. So, totoo yung sinasabi nila na yung mga komedyante sa totoong buhay, very serious and very quiet. I guess most of them, yes. Tahimik lang kasi siya talaga. Pero nagpapatawa rin siya pag nagdi-dinner kayo, ganyan. Ah, well, I always say na maraming layers of it. Like, there's a TV layer and there's a off-screen one. Yun yung professional. And then, meron siyang yung hindi pa siya komportable sa'yo. Tapos meron siya yung pagkomportable na siya. Pagkomportable naman siya, madaldal naman siya. Like with us. <laughs> Oo. Pero in general, hindi lang siya talaga yung Mr. Congeniality. Ako yun. So <laughs> I think yun. that's why sobrang okay yung tandem namin. Kasi siya tahimik talaga. I do all the talking. I do all the works for him. Ganon. So binabalanse mo siya. Balancing, balancing kami dalawa. Oh. It's weird but it super works. Wow. Sino una mong sinabihan na parang, ay parang kami na? Si Ate Ruby. Ah, okay. Enabler siya eh. Kasi... <laughs> From take one for the team, naging enabler siya. <laughs> Kasi gustong gusto niya si Vic. And we're best friends. Uh-oh. And you know, hindi naman sa gustong gusto niya si Vic. Pero kaibigan niya talaga si Vic. And he knows Vic. I guess maaga pa lang, she saw na bagay itong dalawang to. Without even them knowing it. Uh-oh. You know, with yung personality namin. Ano niya talaga, parang hindi naman pinosh. Pero parang she was very supportive. She Uh-oh. was very supportive. I know it's no secret that when we started, it was really you and me against the world. Ang daming talagang kontra. Ang daming kontra. Ang daming hindi nakaintindi. So many people were weirded out. Ako din naman slight. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit? Ba't ka slight? Was it the age gap? No, no, no. The age gap was never an issue. Nasa siya si Vic Soto. <laughs> <laughs> 
really because like again like I'm gonna say it again the person that you see on TV is so different from the person that I live with he's so simple nakakatawa yung pagkasimple niya parang syempre yung status niya parang ha huh, talaga ba But then, when we're together, na kami dalawa lang, wala talaga eh. Siya si Vic, ako lang si Pauline. All these titles and names, they all go out the window. I realized na parang it was something serious. Nung parang all of those didn't matter. All those negative comments, all those, you know, bashing. Oh, I got called a lot of names. Wow. And to think wala pang social media noon. Hindi, I mean, it wasn't it like was, it is it now. It was kind of starting. Uh-uh, but it wasn't very, very big. But I got called a lot of names by people I do not know and by people that I know. Wow. So, paano mo hinandal yun? Did you tell bossing about all these or parang yung iba tinago mo na lang? You know, I think, no, we never talked about it. To be honest, hindi ko ugali kasi yung mamasa ng burden or if I can keep it to myself, if kaya ko, hindi ko napapaalam sa'yo. But I think, you know, he knew about it. Of course, he knew about it. Because he was getting a lot of SHIT too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hindi lang ako. That's why I said you and me against the world. It wasn't only me. I'm sure and dami ring comments na nakakarating sa kanya. Mm-hmm. Kaya I think that made our relationship stronger because we were really in it together. From the start. From the start. All of those didn't matter kahit gaano kasakit. I will not lie. It was really painful at the very start. Because sabi ko, why was I called a gold digger? Na sobrang complete opposite. Niloloko ko pa nga siya. Sabi ko, abunado pa ako sa iyo eh. <laughs> <laughs> Nililibre mo si Bossing. Nililibre ko siya. Nililibre ko siya. <laughs> But you know, the names that they called me, sobrang complete opposite sa totoong buhay. So I will not say it did not hurt. Of course it did. But then I guess I weighed my priorities and you know, I weighed the things that matter that in reality, I do not know these people. I mean, why should I let them have a say sa buhay ko? sa decisions ko. If my husband is, well, my my then boyfriend was all in siya eh. Nag all in siya talaga. Bakit ako maaapektuhan? If it's okay with my parents, if it's okay with, you know, people that matter, wala naman akong inaway, wala naman akong inagaw, wala naman akong sinaktan. Why should it matter? And then, when I accepted that, you know, these comments will stay, will remain. I'm sure now, I am married to him. And you know, I've, proven myself somehow worthy, meron pa rin. Meron pa rin. I've come to realize na, andyan lang yan. Hindi yan mawawala. And, you know, I've made my peace with it. Okay na. Nawala na siya. Okay na ako. Okay na ako with it. I've learned to live with it. But it's that point when I realized na, parang seryoso na siya. Kasi, kaya ko nang tumalikod sa ganitong, ganitong klaseng sitwasyon. And it wasn't easy. Oh wow, na parang ipinaglaban mo talaga. And him to me as well. Pinaglaban niya rin ako talaga. Wait, speaking of your parents, did you have a hard time telling your family and his family that you guys were together? My parents, my parents uh hindi naman sila nahirapan but hindi rin naman sila super supportive but hindi rin naman sila hindi supportive. Okay. Parang he, they were always like, mm, okay lang basta tingnan-tingnan mo lang how it will go like They left it up to me to see if I can handle it. Because they know that it's not easy. It's really not easy. I mean, he's not single. He has children. Yung age gap nga parang it's at the bottom of the list na lang eh. Oh, okay. It's more of like our situation, di ba? I got into this relationship with a man who was previously married, who has children, four children. It's not easy. So my parents were like, Uh, okay, okay lang naman. Hindi naman kami kontra dyan. But, you know, pag-isipan mo mabuti, ganun lang. But then, they saw how happy I was. Naging okay na eventually. And proud ako kasi si Vic was showing himself sa bahay namin. I used to live with my parents. Nagkikita tayo sa church, di ba? Oh. <laughs> oh, so, I never lived on my own. I've always lived with my parents. Nagpapakita siya doon. Wow, umaakit ng ligaw sa bahay. Correct. Hindi niya ako dinidate lang sa labas. Nagpapakita siya sa house namin. So, wala silang masasabi. Wala silang masasabi kay Vic. I'm grateful to my parents because sila din naman may pinagdaanan. I'm sure sila din ang daming narinig. So many judgments from other people. 
So I'm just grateful that they had open minds also that time. Same with the family of Bossing. Of course, there were apprehensions, mostly because of the age. Naman, kung sa akin the age didn't matter. For the kids, it mattered. I understood them right from the very beginning. Siempre, I mean, dami na dumaan eh. <laughs> Ang dami nang dumaan. So, what makes this one different? Mas bata pa. So, naintindihan ko naman. But then, I guess, sabi ko nga kay Vic, you know, let time show them what we have. Sabi ko, wag mo pilitin. Wala namang nag-away. But they were kind of uncomfortable. Normal naman. Normal. It is very normal for, you know, for the children to feel that way. So, sabi ko sa kanya, wag mo pilitin. Hindi rin naman siya ganun. Hindi rin naman siya mapilit sa mga anak niya. Let time show them what we have. Let time reveal what we have. And then, when that time comes, they would understand. And I think, umabot na kami dun sa point na yun. I am proud to say that we are all okay. We all respect each other. We, you know, we enjoy each other's company. I love them. I care for them. I feel the same way. That's why I'm very happy na umabot kami dito. Oh, I was gonna say nga, time has exactly shown everyone what the true nature of your relationship is, di ba? Parang the love is very evident. Mm-hmm, the respect mm-hmm. for each other. Kitang-kita namin lahat. Ito, kanina ko pa napansin, ikaw ay literally glowing. Ang ganda-ganda mo. And parang so radiant. I thank you so much. Mukha siyang inner glow. Alam mo kasi, di ba, pag yung maganda kasi nag-makeup. <laughs> Grabe ka, Miss <Ms. laughs> Pero yung sa'yo, parang may radiance. Ano bang ginagawa mo these days to, you know, maintain that glow. To be honest, I just try to live a stress-free life. Oh, that's nice. I do not let little things, you know, stress me out. Kami mag-asawa, I mean, there will always be challenges, but yung mga maliliit na bagay, we breathe in and we breathe out. Hindi kami nag-aaway, Miss Pia. Talaga? Never? No. Wow. Kasi, I think the respect is very um, big. For example, meron akong gusto na alam kung hindi niya magugustuhan. Hindi ko nipipilit. Same with him. When we talk to each other, no shouting, no bad words. We really talk in a very calm manner. Kasi ayaw namin makasakit ng isa't isa. Kasi we know eh. We know that, you know, these words, when they're said, that's it. Andiyan yung parang, you know, alam mo yung parang maliliit na gas gas, gano? Uh, paper cut. Yeah. Uh-oh. Maliliit na paper cut and then one day lalalim na lang siya ng lalalim. So we try to avoid that. Talagang in- hindi kami nag-aaway. We respect each other's opinions and each other's decisions. Hangga't kaya ano talaga kami um ayaw namin ma-stress. Kaya gustong-gusto ko yung feed mo. Parang ang saya-saya lang, walang stress <laughs> nga. <laughs> Hanggat kaya diba? namin, hanggat kaya oh. namin na ano naman eh, lahat naman na pag-uusapan. And siguro maganda nga rin that we don't resort to shouting and we don't resort to pagiging mainit ang ulo. We really try to talk about things when, you know, when faced with challenges. Oh, I'm sure si Tali will appreciate that also and realize that as she grows older na parang she's in a very, you know, um stress-free peaceful, home, yeah. a peaceful home environment, oh. yeah. As a matter of fact, a year ago, parang we started to bring her to eat bulaga. Eh di ba maingay sa show? Nasa stress siya. Nasa stress siya. <laughs> hindi sanay. Kasi hindi siya sanay. Hindi siya sanay na may malakas na boses. Parang Sanay na sanay siya sa talagang gentle environment. Good for her that, you know, she's growing up in a relaxed, stress-free, gentle environment. I know that you have lived in the public eye for quite a while. Kasi nga nag ka, Little Miss Philippines. And then now you're, you know, you're still very much in the public eye with your whole family. How do you shield Titali from all the, maybe the, the cons that come with being in the public eye? Well, right now, it's still easy because, you know, we're just basically at home. But when she starts to go to, like, big school na and, you know, she would meet different kinds of people, yun, hindi ko alam how I'll be able to, you know, protect her. Because mm-hmm. it's a different world, day. Eh. It's a different world when you feel that the public owns you, that they can just easily say things. And social media is a totally different world eh. I would say that Tali is a bit sheltered because of course of the pandemic and you know, wala naman siyang mga activities outside. So I honestly don't know kung papaano but 
of course, just like with anything, we'll do our best, you know, to explain to her how the real world works. But right now, wala pa kami doon. So I guess, pag dumating kami doon, pagtutulungan na lang namin mag-asawa. What are your biggest hopes and biggest fears for your family? I've always prayed na Vic will be given so much more years with us. Like, sabi ko hanggang 150, Lord. <laughs> you know why? Kasi I see how much Tally loves him. Like, actually, I see how Tally needs him. Well, ngayon, bata pa, of course. But iba talaga yung, iba talaga yung bond. And you know, yung connection nila mag-ama. Ibang-iba talaga. And you know, siguro nga, dito pumapasok yung age gap na parang sana, sana closer para para hanggang talagang 50 si Tali, 60 si Tali. But, syempre, hindi naman natin hawak yung mga bagay na yan. Only the Lord um, can dictate those things. So me, really, I just hope that, you know, we will be given a lot of years together. So that, um, Tali will be able to feel naman na, you know, she grew up, na buo yung pamilya. Mm-hmm. Siguro yun na rin yung fear at the same time. <laughs> yun yung hope and yun yung fear. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, sorry, parang ako yung ano, parang I got emotional with that. <laughs> ako rin eh, medyo na, medyo na teary eye na. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, parang na, na ano ako doon, parang na emotional ako. Because, I mean, everybody, that's really what everybody wants, di ba? Time together as a family that we all get to spend as much time as we can with our loved ones. That's really what we hope and pray for. That's why we make every moment count. You know, kahit sa bahay lang kami, I Ah, ang gat kaya ko, I really capture. Kasi you'll never know. Mali mo, mas matanda sa akin si Vic, but you know, you'll never know what, what can happen. Diba? I'm not being pessimistic. I'm just being <laughs> realistic. Kaya, even with me, I really try to make the most out of everything. Kasi, we'll never know. We'll never know. Kaya, talagang, we love fully. We really try to even live a happy and stress-free life. Pauline, thank you so much for sharing that because I can really see and feel all the positivity coming from yeah. you in this conversation. Na to. <laughs> Super happy because there's really no room for negativity in my life. Like what I said, parang I've made peace with it that there will always be hardships and challenges. Meron talaga mga bagay. There, are, there will always be things that I will not be able to control. I just leave it all up to God. Kasi siya lang naman talaga ang makakaayos ng buhay natin, you know. And when you leave it all up to him, um, you know that you're in the best hands. I've dealt with it. Meron talaga mga bagay na hindi tayo control And I'm okay with that. That's why I just um, make the most out of the things that I can. Alam mo, nakikita ko rin also how, how strong your faith is. Na it's really one of the biggest foundations that you have. It's really so inspiring. Nakaka-inspire. Alam mo, ang takeaway ko rin dito, sabihin ko sa asawa ko, wag, wag tayong mag, ano, ha, mag, uh, mag-aaway ever. <laughs> Saka, magbulungan lang tayo pag nainis tayo sa isa't isa. <laughs> sabihin ko sa kanya, si Pauline tsaka si Boss, hindi sila nag-aaway. <laughs> Siguro din, si Vic, hindi kasi ako pinapatulan. <laughs> <laughs> Nako, eh, ako kasi laging pumapatol sa lahat. <laughs> <laughs> yung pala yung problema. <laughs> Ay, ito, Pauline, just to end things on a light note, first, ikaw, congratulate ko sarili ko <laughs> kasi nahulaan ko kaagad na ikaw ang guest. <laughs> How do you prepare for this? Wala nga, it's really just supposed to be a conversation. <laughs> Wala nga Grabe, yan. Wala nga, ano, hindi siya normal, typical Q&A. Pero, syempre, yung team namin, nagpa-prepare talaga. And dahil um, alam nila beforehand na ikaw ang guest, dahil eat bulaga, syempre, Pinoy Henyo style game. Okay. Ikaw ang huhula. Pinoy, hand your word number one. Ay. Tao. Tao, hindi. Bagay. Hindi. Hayop. Hindi, hindi. Sure kang hindi hayop na tao? <laughs> ah, sure, sure yun. <laughs> Lugar. Hindi. Pangyayari. Ah, pwede. So, it's an occasion? Uh, pe- pwede. Oo. It's an event? Pwede. Event ba siya na nangyayari sa uh, mag-asawa? Ah, Hindi. Or solo sa isang tao lang? Hindi. Oh my gosh, parang alayo ng ano ko. <laughs> <laughs> Nangyayari siya sa isang araw? Oo! Uh, it's a time of day? 
Oo, pwede. Uh, ginagawa ba ito sa umaga? Hindi. Sa hapon? Hindi, hindi. Sa gabi? Hindi. Rated PG ba ito? <laughs> hindi. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Balik uh, na ko. Pananghalia? Yeah. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oh, oh. Lunch? Yes, oo. Oh, oh. Eat bulaga. Yes! Oo, oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nakarating din sa eat bulaga. <laughs> Ang hindi nga rap, eat bulaga lang pala. Oo, oh, oh. sa'yo bagay ba siya? Parang hindi, kaya lang hindi na naman siya tao or hayo. Baka meron kang ano, message for your eat bulaga fans. So, of course, to all the eat bulaga supporters, maraming maraming salamat for sharing our happiness. Kasi kami sa show, masaya lang kami. Kung baga, spill over lang yung nararamdaman ng mga viewers. So maraming maraming salamat for sharing your lunch time with us. And sana, sana mas tumagal pa ng tumagal ang itbulaga. I am sure. I'm sure mas tatagal pa yan. <laughs> Hindi pwedeng walang itbulaga sa buhay ng Pinoy. <laughs> Ay, <laughs> Thank next you. Next game. Uh, Pinoy, hand your word number two. Okay, tao. Oo. Lalaki. Oo. Big shot to. Yes! <laughs> Yay! Bawi-bawi tayo sa number two. Bawi. Ano na gan? Oo. Next. Ito naman ang Pinoy. Hand your word number three. Tao. Oo. Babae. Oo. Si Tali. Oo. <laughs> Bawing-bawi na naman. <laughs> Bawing-bawi din. <laughs> Bawing-bawi. Since kanina, message for Eat Bulaga. Ito naman, what's your message for your family? Anong gusto mong sabihin sa kanila? Itong part na to, pwede natin isend kay bossing yung part na to. <laughs> Wag na yung kanina. <laughs> <laughs> no, my message to my family, um, thank you for giving me purpose and meaning. The face that I have right now in my life is something that I really cherish. I wouldn't be in this position if not for them. Na-experience ko na yung dapat ko ma-experience yung single ako. And I I want to be in this phase for a very, very long time with them. So I'm very grateful to them. I thank Vic and Tali for making my life so beautiful. I pray, like what I said earlier, that you know this will go on for a very, very long time. And thank you for the love and the support and for making me feel important. And I love you guys. There. Oh, what a beautiful message, Pauline. Thank you so much. Thank you for spending this hour with us. Bulaga. <laughs> Bulaga. <laughs> so, dapat pala yung sinabi mo, yung pambungad, no? <laughs> Pero hindi, seriously, I love a good love story and I love inspiring stories, inspiring conversations. And that's exactly what I got from you today. Maraming maraming Thank salamat, you. Pauline. Thank you. Thank you. This surprise was planned by the team of Alan Ibora and Jamaica Fiel Romagos, edited by Shirley Paghiligan with the wonderful people of Jimmy News and Public Affairs Digital. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till the next surprise!